Hello everyone. It is that time. I am going to pop pot these um, little guys up. And I almost just started to do it and I thought, well, you know, maybe somebody wants to see. I don't know. But um, like I said, the reason for getting this plant and um, not expecting so many babies was that I wanted to try different mediums on it to see how it does because a lot of people have preferences, a lot of people have suggestions and soil in my opinion, I'm, I'm not an expert I am just learning, this was a COVID hobby um, so I am trying to absorb all the information but um, from what I can tell every time somebody says absolutely do not do this Somebody pops in and says, I've been doing that for 15 years and my plants are thriving. So, take it with a grain of salt. But, um, there's Mama. The other two did come off. Once she kind of rested, she kicked them out of the house too. So, I did take this little bottle. It had a cork top, so that wasn't going to work. So, I used foil and made some holes in it and I made it extra hole so I can add water and I don't know if this is going to show but um, I'm going to see what happens with root propagating those I'm not doing it with the ones that have extensive roots who knows maybe I'll change my mind part way through but the first thing I want to do is pot up mom and she is going to get a special pot. She's going to get this cute turtle pot. Six inches long, so I'm guessing this is maybe four inches. And it does have a hole in the bottom. I just got this, and I got it off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. From what I saw, it came in two sizes. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a screen in the bottom that just kind of helps uh, dirt from coming out the hole uh, you can use whatever or you can not use anything at all some people use coffee filters um, so it's totally up to you I got this huge uh, thing of it's uh, for like screen doors and stuff and, and window screens and I got this massive amount when I was doing terrariums for a friend. And so I just use that. And obviously you can tell my... I, I don't really go too careful on making it a pretty circle. It's going to be under the dirt, right? So Mama, I'm going to go a little more tried and true with her. And um, I'm going to get my... Call it my chunky mix. I didn't think this through. Okay. Um, make sure I'm not smushing everybody. Anybody. This is um, black gold succulent and cactus potting mix, which I really like. Um, because it's got hummus in it. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to read that. But I got this off Amazon, too. I'm sure you can pick it up at the store. But I don't go to the stores much. So I'm going to start her. Now, what I'm going to check, and I just lost where the heck I put her, is um, I did already check and make sure her roots are going to go in there without issue. So they're going to touch the bottom but it's not like I'm going to have to smash her in there and so I am going to somewhere oh, my high tech device and and this is sorry this is the black gold and a lot of pumice and some akadama um, which is bonsai soil. So I'm going to start 
And I know there's a lot of ways to do this, and some people have their tried and true method, which works for them, and I think that's great. And if you have one, please feel free to share down in the comment section. Um, I don't believe there's only one way to do soil. I think it's fabulous to hear what other people do. I love that. So share away. Share down there. So with the big roots on a Haworthia, you kind of want to hold it where you want it. Poor mommy. She's, she's had it rough. <laughs> and then you just kind of want to shake and tap to get it into those roots and get it around those roots and so some of these scoops as you can tell have more of the soil than the chunky no it's okay um i have read people who say uh the best thing for haworthias is straight pumice I have read pumice and cocoa core, and I have read that they need more moisture retention than either of those. So, you know, it's who you listen to and what experience they've had. And I think it's great to take bits and pieces from everybody's experience and then see what works for you so mommy's in there poor thing <laughs> mommy really needs a drink um rum and coke not sure but normally i will top off with akadama but this already has enough in there that i'm not too worried about it um and I am going to water her because she is a hurting unit. So I am going to, I didn't bring my water bottle. Of course I didn't bring my water bottle. So we're going to go with this. And you won't be able to see it. But what I do, after I get them wet, whether it's bottom watering, a.k.a. butt chugging, or this kind of water, yeah. So it's really fast draining soil. Is I take a cooling rack, um, like you would put cookies on or something like that, and I lay it across my sink, and it fits perfectly, the one I have does, and I just let it drain for a bit. Oh, mommy. All right. So there's mommy. And uh, I am concerned. Oops. We got a whole root out here. So I am going to fix that. And if you have really chunky soil you're working with, gently. <laughs> ah. um, if you get it damp, oh, now she's doing better you are going to have an easier time making and keeping a hole because oftentimes with really big chunky super dry every time you make a hole it just fills in on itself so that's what I do and let me see oh. Oh. I use this cooling rack and just set it over my sink and let them continue to drip until that's all sorted out. I and mean, she is still dripping. You can see. But um, that will be, should be able to be her home for quite a long time. Fingers crossed. So the other one I want to do, I'm going to do straight pumice. New pumice and coconut core, straight black gold, and then some more of my chunky. 
And so I went and found um, small pots, terracotta, have a hole. And then I found these cute ones with a hole. And then bigger ones because I got these before I did this. I did not know what exactly I'd be looking at. But then I found these itty bitties. But they don't have a hole. So I have saved all my little pots from pot from plants I've bought or been sent. And they fit perfectly in there. So that's as much as those guys are going to get because they're going to be so little. So we might as well do those. And with these, I, I do just... Just for my own, uh, I'm going to use the Chunky Mix. It's a little bit finer than the other one. And then I'm going to add a, just a bit of coconut core in there. Coconut core helps retain moisture, which seems counterintuitive, but if it drains so fast that they're like trying to catch a drink as it runs through then I don't know but we're gonna find out because I'm doing some in pumice but pumice is porous and can hold on to moisture so big chunk and obviously I didn't think this one through but I'm gonna just scoop and let's find a good contender um, I'm going to put a couple in here. And there's the... In these ones, the roots are... This one's very, very short. And I have this out of... Where you can even see it. Apologize. Um, so I'm just going to keep adding dirt or the soil mix until it is at the top because I don't have a lot of roots to try to go down. And Maybe in there, kind of mush around, and I think I'm gonna do one more that is very similar in root structure, and then these guys are gonna get a good drink, and they're gonna go on the drip tray. Now I know. Um, Watering is another thing. There, there are certain things that just, I don't know, seem to rile people up as far as do's and don'ts. And some people do not water after they transplant or pot. I figure these guys have been sitting out for several days, bone dry, kind of went through some trauma. They're getting put in absolutely dry dirt, so I'm giving them some moisture. And if it turns out I was wrong, I will suffer for that. But <laughs> what are you going to do, right? Um, so I want to use, I'm going to use one of these bigger pots. And I'm going to take one of my screens. I'm just going to shove it down there. And for the straight pumice, so I have pumice here that's been rinsed. For that, I want to... It's, it's so it's still wet from being rinsed so I'm gonna put almost a half in I'm gonna find one of these bigger ones this guy is like <laughs> his legs are spread um, and I'm gonna hold it again where I want it to go I'm really gonna gentle and this again is wet because it got rinsed and then you just kind of shake it around to get it in between those roots
And this is harder to do on camera. Because <laughs> I'm trying to make sure you guys can see as well. But. So we still have this whole exposed side here. And I'm not. I'm not going to say any of these is going to do better than the others because I don't know. Um, I've always used the, the chunky version that we put mom in, or I wouldn't say always. As I've been learning, <laughs> I went from regular succulent soil to succulent soil plus um, perlite, which perlite drives me crazy just because it flies everywhere, but that's just a personal preference. I know people love it, and a lot, you know, it's it's good for a, for a soil amendment. So, just personal thing for me. Um, <clears throat> so this baby is in 100% perlite or pumice. See, now I'm confusing myself. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more moisture, and it is on the tray to drain. And I'm sorry I don't have a fancy setup. <laughs> this, this is me. This is what I do. So let's. I'm gonna do one of these cute pots just because. And um, and this one I think I'm gonna do perlite and coconut core. And this is the coconut core. And. I'm going to lay some out here. It's going to be messy because this is wet. And then, and I read a, this guy online had an article about Haworthia, and this was his go to soil. So I thought I'll try it. If, and I will say, if at any point any of these plants start to look like this is not working they're gonna get pulled and and put in my go-to mixture <laughs> I am NOT that brave um, so I'm going to fill this up and we're gonna take this guy's really spread <laughs> Um, I wonder about doing two of them. It's going to take them some while. I'm going to do two in here. And I might not have enough of this. So put him here in this. This guy's got some serious ones, so I think I'm going to put him in a different pot by himself. Because that's a lot of legs. So this looks like a good candidate. Uh, and I'm going to need some more of this. So I'm going to mix this up real quick. Can I apologize that I don't know how to edit and do all that fancy stuff? It is what it is. I want to make sure I'm not bumping these guys as I go. So, that guy's kind of in place a bit. I'm just going to build this up around it. I think that guy had more perlite than this mix, so I'm going to. And again, you can just feel it kind of uh, make its way through the roots to kind of settle it in place. And then you just keep going. Get this guy situated. They are siblings, after all. So this is not scientific by any means. Um, 
by any stretch of the imagination. This is just me wondering. And I keep hearing about all these different go-tos and the ones people swear by and it's, you know, what works for one is not necessarily going to work for another, but I just wanted to give it a go and see what works for me here. These are all indoor plants. I live in Washington State in the USA. Um, so these are not outside. Plus, I live in an apartment, so that's just not an option. But, um, I wanted to see. So there's the one in just pumice and core. And yes, I'm going to mark these with a marker on the outside. I just wanted to show it. And the thing is, because of the different sizes, it's not like they're all the exact same size so that we can see the difference. But with the bigger ones, I am going to try um, the different ones for them. So I think the next one I'll do on the slightly bigger ones is, uh, I'm going to go back to my chunky mix. And I'm going to put him in this one and give him the whole pot. Oops. And if you don't have screens, it's no big deal. Just get a little dirt and stuff that comes out. I actually want more perlite in this mix now, too. Nice and chunky. Um, and he's got very, very long roots so I'm gonna see where his go and then I'm going to pile around them if they were shorter than the pot then I would put some in the bottom but first but his are gonna be resting down there and these roots are so wide open um, that I still tap a bit, but it's not as necessary as if they were really a, a whole lot of roots there. But I still will kind of tap it. You want to look for any sneakies that stay up at the top. And we want to just gently get them underneath. And they were all grown, twisted into each other, so that's another reason, but so there's that. And that, uh, let's see, pure pumice, pumice and co oh, one other try. And that is just the black gold. And then I, I'm not going to have you watch me do every single pot. That would probably bore you to death and I'd lose most of you. But this is the black gold. It has a lot of pumice in it. It's I really like it. Um, and if you have ones that need more soil than grit or a really good place to start, I really do enjoy this stuff. So let me see, let's do another itty bitty because I also have these cute little pots. Um, they're made from recycled, if you can see that. Contains recycled material, which is very cool, but I am going to use one of these. Now these don't fit as perfect as the terracotta. These don't wiggle up there very much. It's going to wiggle in here a bit more. But, yeah. Change my mind. I'm going to go with this one. And again, this one does not have a hole. So it's more like a cash pot. But it's terracotta. So when it gets a little bigger, I didn't try to drill holes in these because these are really thick. I mean, I was impressed how thick they are. 
and it does have if you can see that kind of a drill here <laughs> spot but I'm not going to it's my prerogative right so this again is going to be a hundred percent black gold and I didn't put the screen in it this one because it has so many holes I'm, I'm gonna put one in just so everything doesn't fall out as easily and this one let's see let's do this one so this one is bigger but the roots aren't going to touch the bottom. I mean, when that uncurls, it would. But it's not going to be, it's not so long that I'm going to have to shove it down in there and make it try to live down in there, if that makes sense. And scoop. Now, these do have the holes along here. So, if you fill it up all the way and then water... You're going to get some water coming out of there, too. There's. So this one's not going to get all the way. And these guys are going to be on a tray. So in some of mine, they each have their own drip tray. Um, but these, because I want to watch how they do and I doubt they're they're not all gonna fit especially the bigger ones but I got this tray at Michael's and it is I guess ceramic or porcelain and it's perfect for my uh, where my plant stand is because my plant stand has slates on it it's inside it took the place of my end table because that's what we do, right? And um, and I was having trouble with my other little bitties, uh, trying to make them on two slats so they didn't tip. And so I got this, and this works amazing. It works so perfect. You know, you can line them up on here, and it's waterproof, and it's got a lip, so if they're not all the way drained. Or you can bottom water from this if they're little bitties. I mean, it's not really deep, but there you go. So that one is in all just the black gold. And that's it. That's how I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to pot up the rest of these without boring you, but I just wanted to show you, I, I did want to show you, um, the Akadama, and normally what I do with my gritty mix, and I'm going to do with this guy, um, that has just the black gold, is I will put a little top dressing of the Akadama, it's bonsai soil. It's not like putting rocks on top. And if you put rocks on top, I have nothing against that. More power to you. I'm just explaining the difference. But um, I do this for a couple reasons. For one, I think it's pretty. And for two, it kind of holds the, the leaves off the dirt. Especially with this one that is so much soil. And also, it's kind of cool when the whole thing is really, really dry, or in this case it would do it, but when you go to water it, um, dust flop comes up from the Akadama, so you know darn good and well it is uh, dry, but I'm not going to get into how I water. It's another one that kind of gets people. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you what I was doing. And um, I hope you enjoy. If you want to subscribe, I will keep doing other um, videos. I'm happy to show my other succulents. Most are Haworthia and Gasteria at this point, just because that, was, that is what works for me in my area. 
Um, if there's other ones you'd like to see me do, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And um, just keep in mind, I am not a professional. I'm just learning all of these things, but I'm happy to uh, work through a process like this um, if you would like. So thanks for watching.